sure you don't want to upgrade your iPhone? Yes, for the thousandth time. Yes, why do you care so much? Honestly, it's because the new iPhones have USB-C, whereas your old one has the lightning connector. So now I'm not going to be able to borrow your charging cable anytime mine's running low on battery. Oh well, sounds like a you problem. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised you're not upgrading this time. I haven't upgraded in years. I know, but now your old iPhone isn't getting any of the new updates in iOS 17. Oh yeah, what, like no longer auto-correcting my text to say ducking? I feel like you're underestimating how big a deal that is, but no, I mean because you're so into protecting your privacy online. What of it? Well, the new iOS has this thing called advanced tracking and fingerprinting protection. Say more. Well, you know this stuff more than me, but according to Digiday, Apple will start automatically removing link trackers from URLs sent via message and mail, as well as from links in Safari private browsing. Seriously? Yeah. Is that a big deal? I mean, it's not blocking cookies like Apple already does, but yeah. Okay. Question. What's link tracking? I could have sworn we've gone over this before, but okay. You know how sometimes links have these random letters and numbers after the main URL? Yeah, it's like https colon slash slash website dot com question mark and then alphabet soup. Yep. So Everything after the question mark are called query parameters, and companies will use these to pass information along with the link, like the name of the email campaign that you got the link from. Tracking query parameters are a specific type that are used to tag you as an individual and then can be connected to other identifiers in order to track you online. Yeesh. So yeah, Apple will start wiping those tracking query parameters from links when using Safari in private browsing mode. Hmm. Pretty ducking good.